Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. So today what we're going to be doing is learning about running things from server side as well as client side and also the difficulties sometimes that you might have with both of them. First things first, I always do the tutorial at the beginning of the video just to kind of or the sh kind of show you what things are going on at the beginning just so it's a little bit easier to follow. So I have a block here that if we right click it's going to print something to the console and it's going to tell us uh, what side it's basically running on. And I'll explain how that all works. So if we right click on it and if we go to the console quickly I'll keep the game up. And it's a little hard to see with uh, the text here. So I'm going to copy it is this one right here. Uh, we'll just open that up with Word document. If I can figure out how to get to my desktop, just give me a second. Uh, new, and then we'll go rich text. All right, so here we have, oh, that's the whole thing. All right, so we need to go down to where it says test message. With the test message, this is the message that I basically worked on. So when you see the render thread slash info and then that should be something around render threads uh, slash info. It's basically telling you that it's running on the client side. So if you see both messages pop up with the same message down here. Now this is what we're basically doing after this point and what I've done is I just basically printed a message from the print block and I've basically said uh, test message so this is the output of the message itself this basically tells us most of the information where it's being run from so uh, one right clicked on block procedure and some other information so we know that it's basically running on the client side, which it should only be doing, which it is. There is no uh, world side that it's basically running on. So that's good because there's just that one message right here. So if we go into the, we'll close out of the game and we'll go into the procedure. So if we go to, oh, not the block, if we go to the, the procedure itself. If you wanted to run something on client side, then you would need to create an if statement and then you would need to drop the is provided world on or is provided world remote and then it says client side. If you wanted to run it on a server side, then you would do not is provided on remote client side. So if the not statement's added, then it's going to run it on server side. If it's on, if it's just added directly to the if statement, it's just going to run it on the client side. And this is basically what we're doing inside of it. We just printed a test message text to the console. Now, if we were to actually place this here, I'll show you how to create this setup right now, though. So if you wanted to do that, you need to go to flow control and then you want to grab a if statement. And if you want to run it from server side, you need to go to logic and then grab the not statement thing, plop it down right onto the if statement, and then what you need to do is go and grab under world data, and then scroll down to the bottom, and then there is one called uh, is provided world remote to client side. You wanna grab that and drop that onto the not statement. Now this will run it from server side. If you remove the not statement, it will run it on client side. So again, not, we'll run it on server side and just the basic thing uh, will run anything in the box here in the do section on client side. So we can remove that. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, keep the not and I'll show you what the server side looks like. And we'll hop in game quickly. So if we right click on the block again, I just got a little bit of a lag spike due to starting the recording. But if we right click on the block again, it should output another message to console. So if we go to amp critter, and then go back to console, there's a little bit of stuff that we have to search through. Uh, probably easier if we clear it all. So we can actually clear the console by clicking the X button and go back to game and right click on it. 
and then we can go back to M Crater and we should be able to find what we need. So there is a message right at the top here. I'll copy that whole log there. I'll go back to here. And now remember the render thread slash info is on player side. So anything down below. So server thread. Now server thread basically means server side slash info. And then it's basically listing the procedure again and then the other information. And then it's also saying that it's on the, or the, saying the message that we printed out. So that's basically what it's doing. That's the easiest way to test if your procedure is running on server or client side it is just a simple print statement. And to do that again, I will just quickly demonstrate in the uh, actual thing, the procedure itself. You wanna go down to text, grab the print statement, and then you're also gonna need a go back to the text and get a print box. You're just gonna type in something that will stand out in the console. So something like test message, and that will be able to easily identify in the code. And then you just put it into the actual. There can be issues if it runs on both sides sometimes. Sometimes it will do both of it and then have the same output if it, it supports both outputs. So for example, if we were just to remove all this and print out just the message, uh, we'll close out of the game and then we will go and save this. And then we'll let it compile and then I'll hop back in game and I'll show you what it does. All right, so we're now in game. If we right click on the block, I've already set up console so we can basically easy fi easily find it. So right at the top here, we have two messages. So I'll copy those and we'll paste it into the document. So as you can see, uh, we have two procedure or two um, types of uh, messages that output test message both. Uh, the first one is on render thread, which is the client side. And the second one is on server thread, which is on the server side. So if you wanted to say output a message, sometimes there might be an issue where two messages would be displayed. For example, if it was directly to, if you're replacing down a block or something, when the player right clicks on it, technically what would happen is it would place the block two times. It would place it both on the client side and on the server side which could have some problems when running with, if you're actually trying to do something that's only on server side or it might double it somehow and cause extra performance impact when it really could just be simplified and just run on the server side. So uh, things like blocks, if it, for example, a block based thing, if you were to place down a block, it would probably want to be on server side, not client side because it, the blocks isn't, uh, being when blocks are placed, it's more on server side, not the client side. If it's a message, it would probably be more on client side, I guess. It really depends on what you're doing and where you're getting the procedure blocks from as well. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.